The Artifon Orba is very impressive. It's almost mind-blowing. What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Today I am reviewing the Artifon Orba. This is a tiny $99 little instrument by Artifon. It is uh, meant to be a very expressive MIDI controller and built-in synth and kind of almost a groove box. And this leads me to what this thing almost was. This thing is almost a triple threat. An expressive MIDI controller, a portable ideas machine, and a tiny groove box. The first two are pretty much there. The third one has a ways to go, and I think they actually can get there, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. First of all, let's talk about this as an expressive MIDI controller. This is an MPE-enabled MIDI controller, and it's got some very unique parameters for how it modulates different sounds. For instance, while these pads are completely solid, they are quite velocity sensitive. It can respond to how far along on the pads you are, and one of my favorite things is that it responds to rotation if you rotate this thing around, the parameters of a sound will change. And of course, you can bop it, twist it, and get into all other manner of movement to get this thing to shape the sound as you move it around and control sounds. So that's quite impressive. It's a bit of a different take on what Rolly has been doing with like the light pad and seaboard blocks. I've used the light pad before, and that's a fun approach to kind of five-dimensional MIDI. And this is a very different approach to five-dimensional MIDI, also fun. It's a little bit weird to try to use while you're holding it in your palms like this because trying to like thumb around to different notes is not all that ergonomic, especially if you're like over here doing this like movie driving your way through a MIDI part, but um, you can get used to it and especially if you kind of quantize it in your DAW after the fact that shouldn't be too big of a deal. So what it can do is just impressive for one thing, and it can also help bring out little interesting details or nuances that you normally wouldn't think to put in your music, just because it's like, well, I'm holding this thing, I may as well mess around with its different MPE capabilities. All right, so this is the Orba connected to the app. Pairing it via Bluetooth was super straightforward, and I've had it work pretty damn cleanly ever since I set it up and reconnecting it as also really easy. No problems there. That's worked really cleanly and I'm quite impressed with that. I do recommend using it with the app if you're trying to build up even like a sketch of a song because otherwise to do something like record, you have to hold down this button and then hit the record button. And I've not always had the best success with that. It has a bit of a mind of its own. So using the play and record buttons right here instead much better way to work, in my opinion, much less frustrating, much less guesswork. So bear that in mind, uh, experiment with it a bit. You can also switch between instruments really easily. And then hit browse, choose something else. So it's gonna take its time. And this is kind of the extent of what's built in here. So there's not a ton, but it's not nothing. I'll demo a few of these here. I'm not gonna play all of these, but I do wanna give you just a few examples. Oh, they recycled those hi-hats. There's definitely some crossover in terms of uh, sounds. That's, see, the stuff like that, it's a little bit weak. I really wish that I could load in my own sounds. I'm sure they'll get there, but uh, that's not currently a feature. Let's try a few bass sounds. Um, let's do something we haven't chosen yet. Cool. Oh, I, 
like that one a lot. Cool. And then finally some chord patches here. Sevenths. We like those. See how it responds to different movements. And then finally, I should mention, you get other controls in here as well. That's just the connection. You can control song parameters in here, such as the tempo. Uh, right now it's just set to 99 BPM, easy to change that. This gives you all sorts of other information that you might wanna know or might want to be able to change. So you can uh, change things like pitch bend scaling, the MIDI mode that this device is in, and also the battery status, I need to charge mine. Clearly, that's all built into here. And then you even can control whether or not you get haptic feedback, because this thing does vibrate when you press buttons, which I really like. That makes it feel a lot more tactile, especially since like the pads are fairly rigid. So having uh, the haptic feedback in here is nice, but if it annoys you, you can turn it off. The Orba's second use in my mind is as a portable idea machine. Obviously, very small, USB-C charging, all that kind of stuff, um, easily fits in a backpack pretty inconspicuous and nice and hands-on, definitely more so than uh, us Android plebs are used to on smartphone apps. So if you want to just pull this out like over a lunch break or something, uh, make a little beat using the built-in live looping, you can absolutely do that. And then later you can record that into your computer via MIDI and flesh it out from there. And this thing can export multi-track MIDI, which is super nice, much like the Novation Circuit can and it's packed into this tiny little device. So if you just come up with a cool melody and a cool chord progression, you can multi-track MIDI that out into your DAW and then just pull up some synth plugins and immediately get into making a much more polished version of the idea that you came up with on this. That is a decent hybrid approach to have. You get the hands-on aspect and you get the DAW control and they talk to each other pretty seamlessly. Here is the setup for uh, recording MIDI from the Orba. I've got it connected to my computer via USB, USB-C out of the Orba itself and it's running into Reaper. So I've got these tracks armed here and each of these have their own MIDI channel that they're set to. So I've got 10, 9, uh, 1, and 16. I believe the manual says which MIDI channels uh, each instrument is assigned to, so you can uh, look that up or use this as a guide. So like this is just a jam with a bunch of random notes that I just played in just for demonstration purposes. So I just hit play on this. This is just going and those are actually stored in the device itself as MIDI data. It's not just audio. So that means I can record something into here as a little sketch and then record it into my DAW at a later date and that'll work fairly seamlessly. So if I hit record, you'll see all these MIDI notes are just getting recorded. And uh, if I wanted to really do this right, I would set the tempo of the project to the tempo of the Orba. And then I would make sure to hit record and then hit play on the Orba so I only get the MIDI that I want. And then I could tighten up the timing, uh, assign it to virtual instruments, all that kind of stuff. In this case, I've just got Serum and I didn't even bother to change the uh, track titles. Let me go into one thing that holds this back as a portable idea machine. And this gets right into what holds it back as a groove box. You can't export waves from this thing to like work with individual tracks. So even though the built-in synth engine is pretty good, you can't take full advantage of it because you can't take those tracks and work with them after the fact. And also, this currently does not have built-in quantization. And I mentioned earlier, the ergonomics of playing this thing, at least if you're holding it in your palms, are just a little bit weird. So getting a really tight groove on this thing is a little bit difficult. You can definitely do it, especially if you just lay it flat on a table. That definitely helps. You can kind of just drum away on it but then you lose some expressiveness. And so there's a bit of a trade-off there. And the other bummer about the built-in sound system is that you can't really change anything. You can't really customize it. It's got some decent presets, but you can't really tweak them to your liking. You can't build new presets with that synth engine at the moment, and you can't bring in your own samples. That's something I would love to see brought in down the line, but right now that's just not something that this is capable of. 
there's not the infrastructure for it currently, and that's unfortunate. Once again, that also holds it back as a groove box because you are fairly limited in the sounds available to you, unless, of course, you use this as a MIDI controller and not a standalone synth and groove box. So you can definitely get some good stuff out of this. Another way I could see making use of this is just recording this into your DAW part by part and that would give you the ability to edit those parts after the fact to correct little timing bits and still get the expressive built-in synth sounds, but uh, using this as a standalone groove box has a ways to go. So, is this a toy or is this a piece of pro audio gear? I would say it's somewhere in between, and I do not want to diminish what Artifon has accomplished here. It's very impressive. They've packed a lot into here, and there's a lot of potential in here that I don't think has been fully tapped into yet. And given a couple of like firmware and software updates, I think this thing could be absolutely mind-blowing in terms of its capabilities, but right now, it's just cool. And... Um, once again, very impressive. It's got some use as a creative device and as a fun way to add some variation and expressiveness to your synth and drum parts, but it's got a ways to go before I think it'll be a proper piece of pro audio gear. And by that, I mean in terms of its groove boxness. It's already a piece of pro audio gear, judging by its MIDI control capabilities, but if it wants to be pro audio gear in terms of its synthesizer. It's got a bit of a ways to go in terms of just what it allows you to do and how much control it allows you to have. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check out more videos about portable music production devices, you can click or tap up over here somewhere, and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit. Peace.